एवरी वॉम वेलकम टू डब्ल्यू एस क्यूब टेक सी गाइज इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव कवर दैट हाउ वी कैन वर्क विद द लिजेंड्स इन आर टूडे सेशन वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दी अनादर काइंड ऑफ प्लॉट विच इज कॉल्ड एज हिस्टोग्राम प्लॉट सो गाइज वॉट इज हिस्टोग्राम प्लॉट हिस्टोग्राम प्लॉट इज अ काइंड ऑफ अ प्लॉट विच वी हैव बीन सीन फ्रॉम आर चाइल्ड हुड दैट इट इट गोज इन दिस वे लाइक ऑल द बार्स ओवर देयर आर अटैच टू ईच अदर एंड द गोज इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ अ वेव नॉट एक्जैक्टली ऑल द हिस्टोग्राम प्लॉट्स आर लाइक दैट बट आई जस्ट गिव यू अ ब्रीफ आइडिया ओवर हियर दैट हाउ अ हिस्टोग्राम प्लॉट लुक्स लाइक लेट्स हैव अ लुक सो गेज हिस्टोग्राम प्लॉट्स लुक्स लाइक दिस सो ओवर हियर वी हैव थ्री एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ हाउ हिस्टोग्राम प्लॉट्स लुक्स लाइक सो दे लुक प्रोटी अमेजिंग राइट नाउ लेट्स लर्न दैट हाउ वी कैन प्लॉट दम एज वेल टू प्लॉट हिस्टोग्राम प्लॉट लेट्स इम्पोर्ट मैट प्लॉट लिप सो इम्पोर्ट मैट प्लॉट लिप डॉट पाई प्लॉट एज पी एल टी वंस वी हैव इम्पोर्ट मैट प्लॉट लिप लेट्स इम्पोर्ट नम पाई एज वेल सो इम्पोर्ट नम पाई एज एन पी नो लेट्स टेक सम वैल्यूज एज एरेज ओवर हियर फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू एन पी डॉट एर एंड हियर आई बी टेकिंग वैल्यूज लाइक जीरो कॉमा ट्वेंटी फाइव कॉमा फिफ्टी comma 75 in the uh, like they have the distance of 25 over here and i'll be taking 100 and lastly 125 or we can just stop over here till 100 so 0 25 50 75 75 and 100 so five values are there on x axis now let's talk about y axis so again for y axis i'll be writing np dot array and you can pass over here as many values as you want so let's say some over here are 67 comma sorry it's not 67 67 comma 87 comma 39 and it's not a comma like comma 30 i'm just taking some random values over here and 10 and 20 and 90 and basically i just want to cover all, all the range over here that is there and 60 now uh, once we have created this we, we are going to plot our histogram plot over here for that we will be simply writing plt dot hist and uh, here we will be passing y and bins over here so in histogram plots we will be having bins here so bins would be equal to x axis that how many number of bins will be there so five bins would be there that is zero one bin would be on zero the other bin would be on 25 then 50 then 75 and then 100 so here we don't have bars but we have bins over here let me just write over here plt dot show then other functions i'll be showing you later let's run and see so as soon as we run net we'll be getting a output which you would not expect that would look like this so here this kind of output we'll be getting over here now what is happening over here is basically we have different plots or we have different values over here but wherever we have values so wherever we have the values the line have been extended over here okay now what do we need to do if you want to give different things over here for example you need to give a edge color over here so we can give a edge color uh, so that you could define that where the edge is there so edge color is equals to um, let's put it black and as soon as i run it you will now see we have a uh, edge color over here and how bins are coming over here we have one bin from 0 to 25 one bin from 25 to 50 other bin for 50 to 75 and lastly one bin for 50 to 70 this is how our bins are coming and if you want to give them the ratio of 20 20 we can give the ratio of 20 as well so we can give uh, 0 to 20 then 20 to 30 uh, then 20 to 40 then 60 then 80 and lastly up to 100 and as soon as i run it the value would look like this that now i will be getting five bins over here that from 0 to 20 20 to 40 40 to 60 60 to 80 and 80 to 100 depending on the values that we have over here similarly the bars if you want to change the type of what type of histogram plot it is uh, we can change the type as well so we can write over here hist type is equals to we have bar stack and as soon as i run it so bar stack basically looks like this we also have over here bar and let's see how bar looks like so bar is exactly the same again then then we have step the step basically looks like this that over here we have the formation of steps here and then we have step filled in which this these steps will be filled with the color so you can just run it and you can see these steps have been filled with the color over here this is what a step fill histogram plot looks like okay so these are some methods over here so i would uh, we can go with bar or bar stacked over here or whatever suits you and as soon as i run it it looks like this so we have received bars over here in the form of a histogram okay similarly let's learn and create another type of plot as well for that i'll be just taking the similar data over here and let's see different functions that we have in our histogram plot i'll just import matplotlib.py plot as plt and i'll import numpy as np after this we will be taking uh, this time i'm taking a normal distribution over here so for taking the normal distribution i'll be writing x is equals to np dot random dot normal because we are taking a normal distribution over here so it will randomly pick values from a normal distribution here okay so we'll be writing up to 160 and the gap would be of 10 and to 50 of them so plt dot histogram 
X comma edge color. You can give the edge color over here. So let's just as of now just write X. Let's see if I write only X, what output we will get over here. This is how it looks like, and let's write plt dot show. Open close the parentheses. So this is how this looks like. Every time I run it, you will. See, this is how I get the output over here. Okay. Now what do I need? I need um edge color over here. So we'll be giving edge color is equals to let's say black. And now if I run it, it would give me an edge color like. Like this and if you want to give any particular color to it you can give a color as well by writing color is equals to and you can write any color like for example i can write pink as soon as i run it this is uh, this time i'm getting the output like this so why i'm getting different output every time is because what we have taken over here is we have taken over here is the random number that means we want uh we want normal distribution but again then there is a random number over here so this is uh, this. So every time, what will happen? Every time we will run this part, we will be getting a different kind of a bar graph, but it will be a normal distribution over here. So this is right now one color. Suppose if you want to give multiple colors over here, in that case, what you could do is you can again import uh, matplotlib and numpy. So I'll just copy this from here and let's paste it here. Once we have pasted this, we need x values. We have we need the number of bins over here, and we are taking uh, one more function that is called as seed. Now what I see over here is first of all let me just write it down. So np dot random dot seed and I'll put twenty over here. Now np dot random dot seed uh, twenty over here means that inside the seed whatever value you put. So if you if you are picking up any um, values over here, the whatever uh, value you are putting, so twenty over here does not mean you are getting the twenty random values over here. But whatever five values, ten values you will pick, you uh, you will get the same values that I am receiving. For example, if suppose over here I have taken any random five numbers, okay. So whatever five random numbers I am receiving, you will also receive random five numbers if you put the seed value as twenty. Okay, so this is what seed basically means. Number of bins, how many number of bins we want? So I can write over here number of bins that I want is let's say twenty again. So if you get confused between both these twenty, we can put the seed value as ten. So let's say ah uh, the seed value right now is ten. The ten or twenty doesn't matter, but only it says one thing that whatever value I am taking. So if you will use the same exact value over here. Like if you will write np dot random dot c ten, then you will write n a uh, number of bins as twenty, and then uh, the, whatever the y value is, still you will get the same kind of output. What I am getting because the seed over here is fixed. That seed is ten over here. That means those random values are fixed for you, and those random values are fixed for me as well. So for x also, I am taking a random number over here. So x is equals to np dot random. I will be using uh, the functions of our numpy. So rand. Number and we'll be taking thousand comma three and as I said we'll be using different colors so let's create a list of colors so I'll be using three colors over here one would be pink the other one uh, we need to put it inside the double quotation the one would be pink the second one over here would be um let's say hot pink and the third one would be let's say magenta now I want to uh, plot a histogram plot so I'll be writing plt dot hist here I'll be passing x and for y we'll be writing number of bins. Color is equals to colors, and you can define the histogram type as well. So hist type spelling of hist type is wrong. So hist type is equals to let's take bars here and let's run and see. So as soon as I run it, I get a plot which looks like this. So you you can now see how amazing it looks, and we can just uh, write plt dot show. So I'll write plt dot show. Otherwise, it would show me the values that we have received over here. So these, uh, this is how the plot looks like. And if you actually want to see the value and compare it with your values, you will notice that you will be getting the same values. Like if you if you write the exact same code that I have written over here in your computer, also even though it's a random number. Still, you will get the same values because of this seed over here. That whatever random values I am getting, you will also get the same. So if I change it and put this as two. And run it. So this plot, which I am getting, you will be also getting the same kind of plot over here. So I hope, guys, that histogram plot over here is clear to you, like how to plot it, how we can get different values, what are different kinds of histogram. Like if you want to find the type over here, the type of histogram types. Like inside the histogram plots, there are types. So if you want to find the different types, then you can write his type over here. You can give the edge color, you can give the color, you can give different colors over here. And you can write the x label, y label, the legends, and all the same functions that we have been doing. So you can define alpha over here to lighten and darken the colors, and you can use the color map as well for the colors. 
so whatever you like you can do it over here so these are all the basic functions that we have covered already so i hope you guys have no doubts in the questions in our next session we'll be talking about pie charts which are going to be very interesting so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you